Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm ready to do my full review on the Civivi Brazen. This was sent to me by the Shredder Knife Reviews, Ezekiel, and damn it, I don't know the dad's name. I'm 90% sure Ezekiel is the son. But I don't remember the dad's name. I apologize so much for that. Um, I have watched a fair amount of their videos. I just suck at names. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I've watched their podcast with Ray. That was awesome. Uh, they're just really cool. I love the fact that a kid is involved in the knife community and like as involved as he is doing the things he's doing. He's, it's not just like a 10 year old in front of a camera, uh, having trouble talking about the knife and, and we're all like, Oh, look at that cute kid. Right? No, this kid's out there fucking batoning knives throwing knives, smashing shit. Uh, I love it. I really do. I love it. You guys need to keep that up. Pardon my language if I curse there. Shit. I mean, ball, uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so check out Shredder Knife Reviews. Really cool channel. And they sent me the Civivi Brazen. I've had it for a few couple weeks and I think I need to get it back. Um, and I, I I will be honest, I haven't done too much with this knife. I've carried it a few times. I've cut with it a little bit. It has a really good edge on it. Um, I've actually fidgeted with it a good amount. I'm impressed by the action. Uh, it's Civivi. So, you know, my, my biggest thing with it, and I like this knife. It's a good knife. Is it's just another Civivi. Like, it... it this year, it's the year of the fucking... Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, you can't watch this. Ezekiel, my bad, brother. Um, <laughs> I can't. I don't edit videos just because it it's just doesn't feel natural. So, there we go. Um, it's just another Civivi. It's like the year of having five deployment methods for them, right? You have the riffle with the flipper and a deployment hole. You have the uh, Keen Natter. Oh, I hate that knife. I liked it, but I hate the one I had. The Keen Natter, just like this, right? Thumb studs, or no, Fuller. That thing had thumb studs, Fuller, and flipper, I think, right? Um, so all of a sudden, they're coming out with these knives with all these deployment methods, like, it's just so funny to me. Last year was like the year of the flipper for them. Like, I don't know. And it's just like they constantly pump them out. And I hate G10. So whenever they come in G10, I just basically ignore them. I really like this purple, but like personally, I'm not going to carry this. I have knives like this. I don't want to sound hoity-toity, but I have knives like this. James Brand Barnes in the collection. I want to carry this. I like... I don't know. So, like, the riffle. I really like the riffle because it had my Carta 14C28N. I could get behind that. Um, I don't know what steel this is. Uh, do they do the markings anymore? Really? It's got to be on there somewhere, right? No. I can't find it. But I bet you it's, uh, I don't know. D2, 14C, uh, it could be S35, I don't know how much these cost, sorry, I didn't do a ton of research on this one, um, but I, I'm just bored of Civivi, is basically what I'm getting at, um, they basically bought the market, right, like, yeah, they have good knives, they have great fit and finish, but, they, you know, they send free knives to all the big channels, and all the big channels say they're good, um, like, the button lock Elementum is an example of that. That knife is so fucking stupid. Everybody and their goddamn mom knows it is stupid to have a knife that locks open, locks closed, and only has a button for deployment. Like, what the hell? You know, I had somebody leave a comment in one of my videos about it and say... Yeah, but Benchmade, uh, people use the axis lock to flip it open and close it. How's this any different? Nobody talks shit on Benchmade. It's like, dude, first off, I've never seen a Benchmade with just an axis lock. Like, no thumb stud. They always have thumb studs. 
or a flipper or something, right? I don't, they don't do a lot of flippers with access lock, but I don't think they do any. But they always have thumb studs with it, right? Um, so, like, that's not an argument. And they don't lock closed. Like, even if the... Whatever. Even if they put a flipper on that. Like, I've heard of people say, I'm going to put thumb studs on my Elementum. Oh, great. Then you're going to just break your thumb because it's locked. <laughs> like, you can't open it with thumb studs. All right. Sorry. If you can't tell, I'm just a little sick of Civivi. And we... We hasn't come out with a knife I want in forever. And when they do, the detent sucks. And I don't like it anyway. Their OEM work looks so good. Detent. The only one I had recently that I really liked was the Berg Blade Slim. But I have an F5.5. I have an Evo 2.0. I just don't need another knife in that size that's super thick. Like, I have something better already. So, anyway, aesthetically... <laughs> Jesus, Kev. Aesthetically, it's an American Tanto. Thank you. Uh, I think it was Rusty Knife Lover who uh, pointed that out to me. I'm not an expert on blade shapes. Um, it does have a compound grind, but they both seem to be flats. So maybe it's not a compound grind, but they are separate. So to me, that's a compound grind. Um, you just have a basic handle shape with a Tanto. It comes in a drop point. Um, but it looks cool. I got no arguments on that. The purple actually looks good. Yes, I would prefer some kind of uh, micarta. Maybe it comes in that. I don't know. Um, like I said, drop point option available. This is a good knife for people uh, who want to spend 50 bucks or whatever it costs. Uh, maybe these are 70 now. Um, you're getting a well-built solid knife. And the detents on Civivis tend to be pretty damn good. It's the wheeze that suck. Just just saying you know not to go back to that or anything <laughs> ergonomically very comfortable in my hand as a lefty uh my middle finger gets bit by this little tip up on the clip even though it does plateau at the very end there like for righties you're not going to really feel it as a hot spot um because it has that tiny plateau at the end uh but as a lefty my middle finger lands like right on it, right on that up sweep. And it just, yeah, it's just not super comfortable. And then I just adjust my finger and I'm fine. Uh, there's a little bit of jimping right up here on the spine of the blade, uh, which basically I don't, I don't go anywhere near it. I'm up here. So it doesn't really help me. Somebody with smaller hands, maybe. I mean, I don't know. It's basically useless. It's super smooth anyway. Um, you have that bead blast on the blade there. It looks pretty damn good. Edge on it is really nice. Uh, let's move into action. So you have a light detent, but that's because you can thumb flick it with the studs. So this is where you need to be careful if you're Civivi. You want to have all these uh, deployment methods, but you got to nail them. The riffle, you could thumb flick, middle flick, flipper flip, and it always deployed all the way. The flipper was close to being uh, a little too light, but it worked. It really did. This is a little bit too light for me. Um, like I said, Civivi normally nails it on that. They went a little light on this guy. Um, you can see, like, even if I put a little bit of effort, it goes out. Like, it... 99% of people are not going to care. They're going to think this is great. Uh, I am an absolute detent snob. So, you know. But I basically thumb flicked it. Um, the flipper's good. Has some jimping on it there. Works very well. These thumb studs are done very well. Uh, if you guys have ever had a, a wee banter, same thumb studs. Cracks out of there with the studs. Does really well there. And then the closing action, I mean, it's very smooth. I tightened the pivot because it was it had blade play. And before I did that, it was just dropping shut, like gliding shut. But that doesn't really count for me if the if there's blade play, you know. Um, but this is really good. I mean, 60, 70 bucks, whatever. Uh, 50 bucks, I don't know. Excellent, excellent closing action. And honestly 
really good deployment as well. I'm being a little bit of a nitpicker there with the detent, but that's me personally. Dead center, Civivi does pretty well with that. Um, you have your deep carry clip actually goes just past the scale there. It is reversible. Uh, I will warn you, I didn't even try to do it on this one. Sometimes they have a really hard time reversing the clip because they use too much Loctite and they use spinning barrels in the uh, backspacers. So can be an issue. Lanyard point there for all you guys. Um, yeah, it's a cool knife. It's it's a Civivi, guys. That's where I'm at with these. It's just another freaking Civivi. Sounds. It's okay. It's like a five four or five it's not bad not great right uh cutting dude american tanto super thin edges that is where civivi in my opinion shines um their blade grinds are some of the best out of the box blade grinds i've ever handled they can get a knife super thin behind the edge um compared to a lot of companies so i really have to give them props on that that's a huge deal for people. It's a pocket knife, right? So it should cut. They do a fantastic job with their edges. This thing slices like a demon, and I'm sure it's not fresh. I'm sure Shredder used it, so um, fantastic. I do find that these secondary edges on Tantos tend not to be so useful. Um, I tried using them to cut paper and stuff, and it's always weird because it's hard to get the angle right. Uh, but that's not really what you'd use it for. I haven't really found a use for that edge. I love that tip. That's why I love Tantos. I love that secondary tip for getting into packaging and slicing without having to dig deep into a package. Um, and then I love the look of a Tanto. That's why I'm such a Tanto fan, those two reasons. But I haven't found a huge need for this edge. Um, I guess it'd be cool to use that edge to save this one in some cases, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's cutting a uh, carry. We talked deep carry clip, Civivi. They do a great job with their clips, guys. Really solid carry with a Civivi. If you don't have a aneurysm trying to flip the clip, if you're left-handed, if you're right-handed, you don't care. So there's that. Um, I think that covers everything. Value, 50, 60, 70 bucks, whatever it is. It's a Civivi. I'm sure it has decent materials. Uh, I know I was talking shit earlier. I just, I'm sick of it. I'm bored of it. It's just the same fucking shit. They're just recycling designs and adding a different thing and it, using this handle with that blade or taking this blade and changing it this much, adding a flipper to whatever. It's it, They all look the damn same to me. Um, and they had such an opportunity with that button lock elemento and they just... Man, they just fell flat on their face, in my opinion. When we look back in a couple years at that knife, I'm pretty sure people will agree it was an absolute mistake. Um, now, all the fanboys are hyping it and saying it's great, whatever. Uh, trust me, guys, you're just you're just blindly following. And, and, and I do it with certain brands and things, too. So I'm not saying that, uh, you know, like... I do it too, but that's what you're doing right now. I mean, bottom line, you're a Civivi fanboy if you like the Elemental button lock, okay? The only argument I could possibly have is if you're in some place where all that shit is illegal and that's the only knife, but it doesn't even open one-handed You have, it has a lock. So I, I don't even know. But, yeah, I can't think of a reason to like that knife, guys, unless that blade just fits you perfectly in that size and all you do is cut stuff and you don't fidget eh, maybe uh but anyway sorry this is about the uh brazen here um yeah guys the value is fine recommendations fine i can recommend it it's a good knife it's solid well built centered action's good enough um it carries well it cuts fantastically i gotta note that fantastic cutter it's a civivi so uh, I'm just bored of them. Can't tell. I've said it 10 times already. Um, really appreciate the Shredder Knife Reviews for sending this to me. Uh, I really love your content, guys. Keep killing it. 
Um, keep that positive energy up. Um, I just love it. It's inspiring. It really is. Um, I love everybody out there. Sorry for the rant and rave about Sabibi. I love you so much. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.